In my last video, I talked about how Rosanna Pansino came out to talk about how Mr. Beast lied in a video he posted last year titled Extreme $1 Million Hide and Seek. In the video, Mr. Beast had creators play hide and seek at the SoFi Stadium, and the top three winners were Logan Paul, LeRae, and Zach King. But Rosanna says that isn't what happened in real life. Quackity actually placed second and she got third place, but in the video, it's edited to make it look like she did way worse in the competition than she actually did. She said that she had beat Logan Paul and that when she was still in hiding, they made that announcement that they found him. She was caught later after him. But in the video, Mr. Beast says that he found Logan one minute before finding the winner, Zach King, and LeRae was disqualified for falling asleep. She wanted to come out about this now because she's tired of keeping things in that don't make her feel good and seeing this video get posted last year and watching how it was edited to make her look like she performed worse than she did was really hurtful to her. And she wasn't just talking about this situation the other day. It wasn't this big attack on Mr. Beast. When she went on Trisha Paytas' podcast, she spoke about her career as a whole and the different experiences that she's had on set working with different people and this was just one of the things that she decided to open up about and even though rosanna is a pretty big creator and she's never in drama people have been questioning her wondering why she's bringing all of this up why she's starting drama obviously it's because she's hurt by this and she finally feels brave enough and strong enough to come out with the story and this is something that she feels that people should know about that mr reese isn't truthful in his edits at least not this one but people have questioned if she's telling the truth wondering why she's talking about it now why she never reached out to mr beast privately if mr beast even edited the video there's been so much that's been said and some of the questions kind of make me upset for her i mean mostly because people were just like is she telling the truth but she actually wasn't the only creator to speak up about this. One year ago, Quackity actually spoke out twice about this, and he said that he should have gotten second place, but the edit was different than what actually happened. So Rosanna isn't the only one that has said this about Mr. Beast. So so I was I was in I ended up being in third place. I ended up being in third place because they found me. But Lorray was in that video, and Lorray was asleep. So I was technically second place. So I was, I was the second place in that video. And the question about Mr. Beast editing his own video, I doubt that he does, but I'm sure that he has final say on what goes on his YouTube channel. Plus he had to have known the order was changed because in the video, he is literally saying they found Logan Paul right before Zach by a minute. Turns out the freezer was too much for Logan and we heard him get out. And we literally found him one minute before Zach. Unless they AI'd his voice to say that or something, but he is literally rewriting the outcome in that sentence, despite the fact that they found Logan before they found Rosanna, Quackity LeRae, and Zach. And this is something Rosanna talked about when she sat down and talked about this whole situation on the H3 podcast. These are all the thoughts that ran through my head when I watched the video for the first time, because I liked him so much. I wanted to give him the benefit of the doubt. I wanted to, I was shocked, I was confused, I was upset. And I was going, maybe this was a mistake, like, but then he recorded voiceover and he said a blatant lie. So the voiceover in the video at the very end part says, um, we found Logan Paul. I found Logan Paul literally one minute before Zach King. Mm. Oh, so he's. Wait, yeah. so he's that trying is, to even make it sound like he did that, second that place. That didn't even... No, that, that never oh, happened. Uh, Logan Paul oh, was found place. while I was hiding um, hours. Dude, that's so lame. Found hours before yeah. that There's came. literally no so reason for him to do that. That is intentional. That's, yeah. that's, not, that's not a oopsies. That was intentional. She even had vlog footage that she shot that day where she said that she came in fourth because at the time she didn't know that LeRae had been disqualified, which would have made her third place. And you could tell she was just so happy and proud of herself. I got out of the expert machine right when Jimmy is driving by on a golf cart. Just... Oh my gosh, just bad luck. But I made it to uh, top four, fourth place. Uh, so I'm really proud of myself because that's just a miracle. Never thought I would make it this far. And this has been an amazing day. Like, what is my life? This is incredible. Thank you, Jimmy. 
On this podcast, Rosanna talked about how she's been getting flooded with so many comments of all these different questions that people have, and she wanted to just address everything right here. And one of the things that she's been getting asked the most is why she never reached out to Mr. Beast privately before when this video came out and asked him about the edit then. And she addressed this also on H3. What does it matter if you reach out to him privately? Is, is my he, question. The video was public. Yeah. I found out when it went public and he didn't have the decency to contact me privately and tell me, hey, just to let you know, to make the video more entertaining, we cut you out. Mm -hmm. he, he didn't give me a heads up. Now on H3, Rosanna did reveal that Mr. Beast had reached out to her in her DMs on Twitter and wanted to get on the phone with her and discuss the whole situation. But she said that she was asking him questions in the DMs and he wasn't really answering them. He just kept wanting to get on the phone and she didn't really want to get on the phone with him. And I can understand this. I feel like some people might be like, why wouldn't she want to get on the phone with him? But obviously if he's manipulated the outcome of a video, she might not be trusting in them getting on the phone and maybe he apologizes, but then they're not on the phone and he doesn't address the situation and you know, there's no like concrete proof that she can bring to the public that's like, see, I was saying the truth because it was like all on the phone. So it's like, once again, we have to take her word for it, which not a lot of people want to take just her word for it. But obviously if they're talking it out and writing, he apologized to her or something, then we know that, you know, she's telling the truth. She's validated. And so she was talking about this on H3 about how he just like will not get on the phone and probably for this reason. So that there's like no proof of him actually like manipulating an edit. Um Right now, Mr. Beast wanted to get on the phone with me. He wanted me to give, his, give me his number and call him and talk it out. I don't feel comfortable communicating that way. And here's why. He will not respond to me, any of my questions in writing. Mm -hmm. Oh, he knows. He will, yeah. only, he will only, he keeps pushing it three times. You'll see, call him, call Girl, him. Girl, you are him. so right. People do that to me all the time too. Same here. Yeah. Same here. And Someone asks to call, I say, I don't have a phone, sorry. the thing is- <laughs> Write me. I've been burned so many times by people yeah. doing that when I didn't know what yes. anything. You learned the yep. hard way. And then I go, hell no, writing mm -hmm. only. Mm -hmm. yeah. We're gonna That's need exactly that answer it. in writing. Yeah. And whatever he can say to me on the phone, he can say to me in writing. Exactly. And I know this, unfortunately, because I've been in entertainment for a really long time. And unfortunately, I was in a situation different than this, but someone did this to me. And I learned the hard way. And so I'm not doing that again. She gave the messages over to Ethan and Mr. Beast DM'd her saying, what's your phone number? I'd love to call and see if we can figure out what happened. And she said, hey, Jimmy, my intentions of speaking up is not to be malicious or create drama. I was really hurt by the editing decisions you made. Editing me out of the top three and making me look like I performed worse than I did felt awful. Quackity was also edited out of top three and he also talked about it. I have stayed silent for so long. It's causing me mental stress and anguish. It's not mentally healthy for me to have someone make me look worse than I am to millions of people. I would never do that to a fellow creator. He said, obviously I wasn't trying to make you look bad. Just give me a time we can chat. I'm not mad or anything, just want to help. She said, why did you lie? Why did you say in the video that you found Logan literally one minute before Zach? I outlasted Logan and was proud of what I accomplished. It actually built some confidence in myself that wasn't there before. I don't know, been a while. Let's call and figure it out. I'll give you some time to look into it and remember, and then we can discuss. I'm more than happy to review all the raw footage to help show the timeline of events. Feel free to send it over to my team. Let me know. And she says she has yet to hear back from him since this. The one thing that stood out to me was she was opening up about how this video helped her build some confidence and stuff before, you know, she saw the actual edit of it. But while they were filming it, because she placed third and she was so proud of herself and him just saying, I don't know, been a while. Let's call and figure it out. I'm like, oh my God, what do you mean? <laughs> so I don't know how this is going to go. I don't know if Mr. Beast is just not going to address it further. She says she hasn't heard from him since this. I'm like, I don't know, you guys, this is a mess. I feel like Mr. Beast is so like calculated when it comes to the algorithm and the internet and everything. And I just don't see him saying that he manipulated the edit of this video. I just feel like he knows that if he like flat out admitted it like that, his 
brand would kind of be a little shaken a little bit. People like would question the authenticity of his videos and the outcomes of them. But I don't know what he's going to do. I don't know what he's going to say. Maybe he just says nothing, but I don't, I don't know, you guys. And I know that some people have been like, oh, who cares? It's not a big deal. And I mean, like, yeah, in the grand scheme of things, it's not the worst thing in the world, but it's the principle of it. And I just want to know why, like, what was the reason? And also, like, does he do this to all his videos? Like, what's going, what's a T here? Because it's kind of a big deal if he does this, like, a lot. I know I watched his videos and I thought that the order of the winners were the order of the winners. I never second guessed it. I never thought in my mind that, you know, things would be moved around or manipulated in some sort of way, especially because he gets on interviews and he's talking about how genuine his videos are and how real he keeps things. And he's just this normal guy. And now I'm like, what? Like, why would you do that? And also like, why would he do this on a video where creators are in it, you know? Cause that's also the thing. It's like, these people have large platforms. You don't think that they're not gonna say anything about it? Like that is what is just so, weird to me this whole thing but i want to know what you guys think about all of this in the comments i love you guys so much and i will talk to you in the next video bye guys